Hey what's up guys, so I'm back and today we'll be making a tutorial on NTS. NTS has a very unique style when it comes to funk, so uh, I'm going to be showcasing how you can recreate something that sounds um, of that nature. So uh, without further ado, here we go. So I already have a project set up, um, it's already released on my SoundCloud too, uh, if you want to check that out, but this is the overview of it. Um, I organize it all, all so that each track has its own um, sound. So um, basically, uh, you want to turn change the tempo to around 115 to like 120 BPM if you want to make this uh, type of emotional funk like this. And um, I basically found this sample right here, uh, and I cut it up. So this is the play it sounded originally. So yeah, this this was one part of the sample, but then I um, I cut up different parts of this, so that was the first part, and then there's this part here. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then I added some extra notes here. So I found the key of the sample, and um, this is what they sound like. And to make that noise, um, I basically loaded up a preset from uh, Citrus, and that comes with FL Studio. You can uh, you can play around with Citrus too uh, if you're talented, but I'm not. So uh, basically, uh, that's what I did. And um, yeah, so let's start with the intro, and uh, let's analyze each part of it. So it starts off with a. Uh, fade in and there's a couple textures so there's the vinyl texture and then there's the forest texture and basically uh, I just have the melody and everything just fades in And then it goes to the drop. So you don't want to build up too much because the drop isn't going to be like incredibly hard, like some of Aseri's tracks or um, or any of that nature. It's more like it's more of a chill beat and smooth atmosphere, I guess. So so I just added a little drum beat right here just to get the tempo going, and then just a little tom break. And then I added this very tiny uh, transition here, a riser. And then that moves into the drop. So I'm gonna let you listen to the first part and then we'll, we can analyze each of them. Before we get into the vocals, uh, let's just see what we got here. So it's a very simple beat here. So basically, I have this loop from the Jason Rich drum kit, which I highly recommend. So I usually add that in the background of most of my songs, and it sounds pretty cool. Uh, it helps add some per percussion if you're untalented. So. Um, and then we have this right here, which is pretty easy. Uh, it's just a TV static. Yep. And then I just cut it up so that it like makes kind of a, a beat. And if you're wondering what uh, the fade out thing here is, basically it's just um, the mode. So you set the mode to generic bleeding and uh, that's what it does. And um, 
I lowered the volume so that it like fades out. And then for the kick, um, I added, it's just a basic kick, like every tutorial, um, except I didn't make it as hard as the other ones. So it's, it's just a very simple kick. Um, this one's from my kid actually. So uh, here it is in the mixer. So it just has a compressor and a paramedic EQ and a soft clipper. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then that's linked to the 808 for uh, side chaining. So this is the 808 here actually. And yeah, that's a simple pattern. So uh, in the mixer, this is, what, this is all I did to it. Uh, I just removed the, most of the high end and mid end. And yeah, that's it. And the snare has a couple components to it. So I stacked three different sounds to this snare. So this is the main snare here. And then there's a there's a triangle in it, like very tiny triangle. You can like barely hear it. And then an enclosed snare. So that's to add more, um, re a real, more real aspect to it. So this is what they sound like together. And yeah, that's pretty simple actually. And this is where the hi-hats the hi-hats seem like it's a very simple pattern here, but if you get in, if you go in here, you can tell that it's a lot more than it seems. So basically all I did was uh, pitch down every second note, um, just a little more up and then every fourth one a little more down and keep alternating like this. And then for panning, I just did this. So it like pans left and right, but not too much. So that's what it sounds like to get. And yeah, and TS likes to do that a lot. And oh, also for the snare, um, I added one, one of these at the start of each four bars. So it's that snare. So this is what it sounds like with the other ones. All right, so let's get going with the vocals now. All right, so uh, the vocals pretty simple. I just found an acapella online for this, and uh, this is made into you Uber everywhere. Keep calling sweater, she be in a way. It's me, but I know she's sucking dick, and I need my lab room. And yeah, I pitched it down a bit, or actually, I made it to the tempo, and the tempo did the rest for pitching it down. So, this is what it is alone. And then I added some effects to it. So, I added a reverb 2, and these are the settings I added, and then delay 3. I kept the default settings, like right when you initialize the, uh, delay 3, except I turned down the master like way down, so it's less like no noticeable. And I think it adds some good atmosphere to it. And then right here, I added the same static loop, except I didn't uh, lower the volume, so I just kept it like this as a percussion. And then um, there's this box noise here that I made, or that I found actually. And yeah, there really isn't much else to cover for this uh, track. It's a very straightforward track with uh, just a few effects here and there, like this one right here. Um, yeah, the crashes, that's what I was gonna cover. 
Um, there's a lot of crashes in this track actually, and I'm not sure if I haven't really noticed if NTS does that, but in my opinion, it adds a lot of uh, variation and it makes it sound that much more dramatic. Like this is it without the, the crash and we'll compare after. And then there's this. Yeah, that's... I think that's it, so uh... Thanks for watching, and here's the final track.